All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this blog. Here to give you another scout report for today, and this one is on defensive tackle Javon Hargrave coming out of South Carolina State. He had a great career as a Bulldog, and he is a great sleeper for this year's draft. Not too much of a sleeper. I think he's better than a sleeper, but people are not talking much about him, in my opinion. Now, he's actually hailing from um, Salisbury, North Carolina, and he did get a couple of scouts from FBS schools but decided to play at the FCS level in the MEAC of division. Definitely had a great outstanding career as a Bulldog in which he compiled a total of 211 tackles, 63 tackles for loss, and 37 sacks as a Bulldog. Definitely are eye-popping numbers for the defensive tackle position and he was the 2015 defensive player of the year in the MEAC conference and in my opinion he should have been the Buck Buchanan award winner given to the FCS division defensive player of the year but he was a finalist he should have won it I don't care what anybody says now let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses entering this year's draft I mentioned those eye-popping numbers but he definitely had good numbers as well at the scouting combine he ran a 4 9 3 40 and he also bench pressed 225 pounds 29 times that those are better numbers than what some people believe and in my previous video and Vernon Butler coming out of Louisiana Tech now I will talk about a couple of his weaknesses though but let's continue on with his strengths he definitely launches himself well out of stance and he definitely has initial quickness off the line of scrimmage off the snap of the football and he has he does a great job in breaking down and on the deep, uh, offensive line of scrimmage and even getting the evading blockers now, he definitely has a stout, and he definitely does well in getting to the point of attack with strong hands to lock out and, and control blocks just to evade things. Like I told you guys, 37 sacks and 63 tackles for loss. That shows that he knows what he's doing. He definitely moves well. He has a lot of uh, moves in his arsenal, and he definitely has good size at six foot one, 309 pounds. Now, uh, I mentioned uh, Butler in my previous video for today. He was six foot three, um, 200, um, 323 pounds. He does weigh more, and he is the bigger um taller guy but if you really look at it because you have to think about it that um hargrave is actually shorter and he's a little bit more stockier in my opinion definitely as a good weight at 309 pounds i think he could do well and perform well at the next level and defensive tackle now he does have only a couple of weaknesses though as far as his game playing he sometimes can stop his feet once he is hit and he needs to do a good job in keeping those legs churning and that's what sometimes he can get caught up in the trash but that is one of the one things that i have notice that he needs to work on now the other thing that people are concerned is that the level of competition that he played especially in the FBS division in the MEAC conference MEAC players they're not really big 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 known MEAC players but we do have um a couple players that are, have exceeded well in the National Football League, like Robert Mathis. I believe he's from Alabama A&M. Now, this is, that was another good player, but I think that um, Hargrave could be the next star at that, coming out of the MEAC Conference. With those big numbers, I think that he is a solid second-round selection. Now, I think that... Um, People definitely will disagree with me. I've seen a lot of reports that have him in the third round, be mainly because of the level of the competition. But because of the level of competition, that's why I have him at the second round. He could be a first round star, but I don't think he would get that enough coverage because he played in the FDS division. So I see him as a good second round pick of this year's draft. But I know a lot of people will probably disagree with me and have him going in the third or fourth round. And the next time to catch you guys will be in a couple minutes. I have one more scout report for today. Thank you for watching this report. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.